with the latest on the investigation. With me now, Brian Ross, our chief investigative correspondent. And Brian, investigators are beginning to piece together what happened in that terrifying 10 minutes in the school. That's right, George. They say they are making good progress in knowing much of the how, although less of the why of the stunning crime. Uh, in particular, they are focusing on the weapons used. There were three weapons recovered, two handguns and a semi-automatic assault-style rifle that the authorities believe was owned actually by Adam Lanza's mother, Nancy. Her friends say she was a gun enthusiast who bought the weapons for self-defense when she was divorced and lived in a large home by herself and often took her sons, her friends say, uh, to a nearby firing range for target practice. So they, they confirmed that the weapons belonged to her, but there had also been some reports, at least one report, I believe, in the L.A. Times, uh, that the shooter may have tried to buy a weapon recently. Our reporting doesn't confirm that, and, and the fact is, in Connecticut, there is a waiting period uh, to buy any weapon. Uh, you need a permit to buy a handgun, not a long rifle, but even so, there's a waiting period. And uh, if there was an attempt to buy one in a short period of time, that wouldn't work. There had also been some information earlier that the shooter's mom may have had some connection to Sandy Hook, may have been a substitute teacher or a volunteer, That the, but the superintendent has now said that is not the case. So do we have any better idea of why Adam Lanza chose this school? Well, the superintendent has said that the mother, Nancy Lanza, did not work there. She was not a teacher. But her relatives say she did volunteer as a teacher's aide at Sandy Hook, apparently around the same time that Adam was a student there. Uh, he was a troubled young man, according to friends. And according to relatives, Nancy had many issues with the school district about how they were treating him and handling his particular special needs. So that may have been a source of conflict. And at one point, according to the aunt of uh, Adam, uh, the mother pulled Adam out of the public school system and homeschooled him because of our unhappiness with the way he was being treated at school. The, the police also spent an awful lot of time at that at the home, which is also a crime scene, of course, where the mother uh, was murdered. What else have they been able to find inside that home? Well, they say they have made good progress uh, from evidence found in the home, unspecified, as to the why and the motive. Uh, we don't know if that means there was a note or some sort of a video left, but they say they are making progress in determining a motive here that was involved, in which, you know, he started the day by shooting his mother and then drove about 10 minutes uh, to the school, so he had a very determined mission to, uh, in his head uh, when he started that day Friday. I saw one report that the hard drive, his, the hard drive of his computer at the home had been broken. Is that true? We haven't been able to confirm that. There have been a number of reports. It's hard to know. Police are, they say, purposely keeping a lot of these things close to the vest as they put together a full picture. Uh, the best information really about uh, Adam and, and his background comes from former classmates who attended school with him and say he was awkward and socially uh, very Ill, Ill at ease around people, didn't like to be talked to. Uh, he was a member of the tech club at his high school. Uh, friends say he was very bright, very smart, but very withdrawn. On. But the mystery is still why he did this. That, that remains a, a serious question. Uh, there seems to be some connection, at least in his twisted way of thinking, that uh, put him on that path. But it's not certain yet just what that was, George.